Hey guys, welcome to Get It Done with Gabby. We are back for part two of our bathroom transformation makeover. Last time I left off at like the finishing up demo section of the bathroom. I think all I have left to show you from demo day was the cleanup. So I will start out with the cleanup footage and then we will get started with the paint action. Oh, I also had to bring in a lamp. You're just gonna see a random lamp in here now because I had to take down one of the lights for the wallpaper wall. So we're down a light and it was pretty dark in here. So uh, don't mind the random lamp. It's just so that you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> and so I can see what I'm doing.
So you guys are all caught up to speed now. Now we are on to paint. So I had some paint left over from when I did the room makeover upstairs on my old childhood bedroom. So I thought I was gonna use the rest of that. I just opened it and actually, I will just show you what's going on with it because I don't think I've ever seen paint do this before. I must not have sealed it all the way is all I can think because there's just like a hard like chunk in the bottom. I don't know what it is. It's like a hard chunk and then a bunch of liquid. So um, that's not a viable option. So I'm gonna have to make a run to the store today to uh, get some paint. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We will get some paint. Um, but I do have like a half, well, a little less than half a gallon of primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this whole room primed with what I have left here because it would be great if I didn't have to buy more primer. So let's get this on the walls and see how far we can get. First layer on. I actually made that entire thing of primer go all the way around the bathroom, even on the wall. I'm gonna do wallpaper. Uh, so yeah, I guess I don't need as much paint as I thought, but I still probably will get a whole gallon. 
just to make sure in case I have to do two coats. Uh, but yeah, it's looking so much lighter and brighter in here just with the white paint, but it's kind of making the door look a little gnarly. <laughs> Let me show you. So the door is not living its best life anymore. <laughs> it just, um, it's not looking great. So I wasn't planning on painting the door. I don't honestly even know how. Like, do you just put the paint right on it? Oh, that is a task for another day. Okay, so I think my plan is going to be, I think maybe when Penny wakes up from her nap, we will go to the paint store and get some more paint. Because I really, what time is it? It's, uh, it's already 3 p.m. Um, I really wanted to get the painting done today so that I could work on the wallpapering or flooring tomorrow. I need to look and see. I know paint doesn't fully dry down for like a week, so I might not do the wallpaper first. I might start working on the flooring instead of the wallpaper, but I just have to Google that because I'm pretty sure it takes like, it'll be dry to the touch in a couple hours, but I think for it to actually like the paint to harden and be like completely solidified, it takes a week. I don't remember where I heard that, but I feel like that might be the case. I'll Google it. <laughs> Has anyone caught on that this entire project is based on Google answering all my questions on how to do it? You know what? This is an entire learning process because these are all skills that I now have. I know how to remove baseboards. I know how to remove carpet. I know how to remove a toilet. <laughs> I've learned lots of skills. So uh, very useful for when we have our own house. Okay, I am gonna go take a break and the next time you see me, I will have paint. I'm feeling spicy today. I am lit on some espresso right now, probably drinking it a little too fast, but listen, it's Saturday. We didn't have any coffee in the house, so Matt took me to go get my special drink. It's delicious and I love it and I wish I could have it every single day. Plan of attack. I got new paint. Ooh, let me get it. You may be thinking, hmm, that doesn't really look like a new can of paint. It is. Look at that banging hot deal. Banging hot. Why? This perfectly new can of paint was damaged in transport, AKA the lid popped off and spilled a little bit, but it's still completely full. So I got this half price, baby. $10, very excited. Let's go ahead and paint this bathroom white. do another coat of paint and honestly probably one after that too this is what I get for buying cheap paint it's so thin I have primer and a coat of paint on the wall and it's still so blue like you could see the blue so well I really don't think one more coat is gonna cut it 
Oh, I'm so tired of painting. I want to move on. Do you guys even want to watch this? It's so boring. <laughs> Okay, I'll film this next round of paint, but if I have to do a third one, I'm just gonna do it. I'm not gonna drag you guys through this with me. to the unfortunate conclusion that it is going to need a third coat. And furthermore, I am going to paint the ceiling as well. While I was up there painting, I noticed how uh, bleh the ceiling looked and some of the like wall paint had gotten on the ceiling. So I kind of put some of the white paint over it and it's a different color than the ceiling. So it was sticking out to me like a sore thumb. So now I just have to paint everything so that it's all one uniform color. I don't know if I can even show you guys. Can you see that like line on the ceiling right there? Cause this is like a slight, just the ever slightest tinge of gray off of white. You'd never know it if you didn't see it up against ceiling white, but it's just slightly more gray. So. I'm gonna paint the whole ceiling too. <laughs> round and round we go. But I am determined to get this done today. So I'm gonna paint the ceiling and then I'm gonna get out of here until after dinner and just let everything dry. And then I'll do the third coat of paint, fourth coat total, because we did primer, paint, paint. We're gonna paint again. We'll do that third coat and then we should be good to go. Should be good to go. Let's do it. Okay, that was 100% the right call. The ceiling looks a thousand times better now. But the walls are looking worse. As they dry, they're getting more see-through. Uh, well, not, okay, not more than they were before. But when I put the coat on first, I was like, mm, maybe we don't need a third coat. But as they're drying, we absolutely, like a thousand percent need a third coat. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Let me move this light. Check it, check it. You see it? Oh yeah, you can totally see it. It's so streaky. <laughs> ah. Okay, hopefully the next coat will be it, but um, I'm just gonna jump right to it. So what will probably be very late into the evening for me will be um, now for you. I hope that transition wasn't dumb as hell. I did the third coat of paint on the walls and we are fully covered, so we are good to go there. Now we are on to the wallpaper. I just unwrapped it because I was looking for instructions and apparently it did not come with instructions. So um, I feel like I've watched enough home reno videos to like get the gist of this. It literally is just stick 
and peel. So we're just gonna wing it. I am gonna do some measurements because if it's not straight when you hang it, it's gonna get all wibbly wampus on you. So I'm gonna see if the corner of this room is what level? Level, that's what I'm looking for, I think. I wanna make sure everything's level so that when I start hanging this, it doesn't get all janky wampus. So I'm gonna do some measurements quick, and then I think you just kinda peel and stick it, right? That's the whole point. Anyway, this is what I got. It's super cute. So this was from the Roommates brand, and um, it was a collab with, oh, what's her name? Emily Reyna, I think. I just started following her on YouTube. I know she got really popular through COVID for home reno stuff. She is so creative. She's like the coolest design stuff. But I saw her using some wallpaper and then uh, realized that it was her own like collab with roommates. So I went to go find it and um, it came in different colors. And this was like, I feel like the perfect combination of what I think is fun and what would work for my dad's house like what he would accept for wallpaper. <laughs> this is my selection. So hopefully I don't ruin it because um, peel and stick wallpaper is not cheap. This roll was like 50 bucks. This was the most expensive thing I got for this project so far. So though I'm guessing if I actually had to buy flooring, that would have been the most expensive part. But since I didn't have to buy it, this is. Let me do some quick measurements and you learn just by doing, at least I do. So let's just figure it out. Cross our fingers, hope for the best, eh? Okay, so as suspected, that corner is not, it's got a little wonk at the top where it like goes in a little bit. So like the measurement, like, how do I explain this? This is like 20 and a half inches, right? So if I started up at the corner and rolled it down, what would happen is that a few feet down the wall, it goes out a little bit, so there'd be this big white gap that you would see. So what I did was I measured a level, a perfectly plumb bob line situation at the like widest part. So I measured down to where it was the widest and then measured 20 and a half over and then made the level line there. So I'll have to do like a little bit of trimming off the edge towards the top but then that should make the rest of the wall go way smoother. This is my hope. <laughs> I'm so nervous to actually start sticking this on there because I don't want to mess it up. That's okay. We can do it. We are confident. It's just $50. It's so expensive. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. I can do this. All right, let's just start. Let's just start. Okay, I'm actually gonna do something first. I'm gonna measure how tall the wall is and then cut this so that I'm not dealing with like the whole heavy roll because I feel like that'll be more frustrating than dealing with a single strip. So I'm gonna measure the wall and leave myself like three inches just to like make sure I don't totally jack it up. Um, I think that's gonna be the way to do it, I think. <laughs> oh my God, that was alarmingly stressful making that cut. This has to be so perfect to line up with the next section, like the full length of the wall. If I clipped it just like even an inch more than what's perfect, I would have lost like one and a half to two feet of pattern because of where you have to line it up on the next one. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but like, oh, making that cut really stressed me out. This better be right or I'm gonna freak. Mm. Freak out. Okay, now the next part. Trying to stick it. Oh, trying to stick it. Oh my god, peel and stick wallpaper is a nightmare. Oh, it doesn't help that the heat just kicked on and it's blowing like straight in my face. My body is in a full panic. Okay, 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 next.
Okay, I took a break to hang out with the girls and I'm refreshed and ready for our next section. I'm not gonna cut this one, I'm just gonna start because I'm feeling very sassy and confident. Is that a mistake? Maybe. Oof. We're gonna find out. But now we just gotta line up everything. That should be easier, right? I hope. Okay. I am feeling confident now though. Now that we got it started, I think I think it should be easier. She says, hopefully. <laughs> okay. wallpaper is an abomination. I'm just saying, I think I would have been better off painting this on the wall myself. What an annoyance. It does not line up right. It gets all stretchy and wonky and weird. And I don't think I'm going to have enough. This was $50 and this is a tiny ass wall. What the hell? <sighs> okay. So right now I'm making cuts along the mirror. So I'm gonna cut the rest of this piece off and trim out around the vent hole and then stick all this extra stuff back on the like backing because I think I'm gonna have to like mosaic the rest of this if I have even enough to do that. If you can't tell, I'm a little peeved. Call me peeves, cause I'm paused. Yeah, I'm absolutely not gonna have enough. Oh man, I'm furious. That's awful. That is awful news. So now I'm wondering if I should like cut it off here and just paint over here because this is where the toilet is and like preserve some of this extra so that I can get this, get more done up top. Like, should I just cut it off across here and move this whole section? I'm wondering if that's the better call. Oh, geez Louise. Okay, coming to the realization that I absolutely do not have enough to finish this whole space, we are gonna get a little janky. I'm gonna cut what I already pasted and move it to try and save this project. <laughs> ah, okay, so we're gonna start where I need it, up at the top in the next spot, which is right here. I need these lines. So I need to do a straight edge right here. I'm gonna fiddly doink around with that last tiny little section up there and do some trimming and I will check back in when I feel like I'm in a good place because I am 
you know, I kind of assumed it was going to go this poorly, but like I was really hoping that it would go, go well. And it just has not. Okay, enough pouting. I'm just going to knock this out and I will check back in later. Okay, it's done. It's done. I'm still irritated that $50 got me that, but it's fine. Okay. So the cop-out version of me wants to just paint this black because remember it's behind a toilet. But like the part of me that's a perfectionist needs to color match the gray and then paint all the stripes and squares on in black. So that's what I'm gonna do. Ah, I have a gallon of black paint, thankfully, that I've been carrying around for years. I use this like, I got this for a project years ago and then I used it on my wall in the bedroom at the last house. And uh, it's just been coming in handy. Coming in handy here, there, and everywhere. So I'm gonna try and color match that gray. And then, cause I have the white from the walls that I can mix this black with. So I'm gonna try and get as close as I can with the background gray and paint that all gray and then let it dry and then come back and do the little stripey stripes. So. Wish me luck. <laughs>